you know, I, I really didn't, don't even know how I found out about the Peak District. Um, my wife is stationed here as a as a visiting professor for seven months, and to be honest, I I don't know how I found out about it, but. Um, being a painter, I prepared myself in the States by going out and doing open air painting for last summer in um, 2010 for the whole summer and I enjoyed it a lot. I did this in the States and it was all in preparation for when I'm here for seven mo months with not much to do. Um, so you get out in the Peak District and paint and I try to get out here between three and four times a week. Weather, I don't care what the weather is, I've been out here in sleet a little snow, there's been frost on the ground, high winds, freezing temperatures to a point where I'm shaken when I paint. But basically I put about three hours into each painting, um, maybe a little more, and that's about it. And I've been trying to capture a variety of different subjects from um, vistas, um, just things that are far away to more detailed shots, which I'm doing today of some um, outcroppings of rocks. And um, it, it's really to get me in tune with my own personal painting because in, in the States I'm a commissioned artist and um, people tell me what to paint and that's what I do. <laughs> Here I'm, I'm trying to be more more free and also trying to figure out what my voice is in painting, meaning what I want to paint um, for myself. And, um, About so um, your experiences of the uh, Peak District National Park so far? Well I actually um, last weekend we took a bus to Castleton and just a bus ride through here was amazing. I mean, the, the surrounding hills and how they're um, structured with all the, with the sheep farms and all the, the stone fences and how it grids everything off is quite, quite interesting. Um, yeah, it, it's just amazing. And it, one thing about being, doing open air painting out here too is the light changes so quickly. Um, I've noticed when I came to England here that the, at this time of the year the sun wasn't up very long in um, January and February it, it, and it stays very low in the sky which has a big effect on, on the lighting and the shadows and it can be a little frustrating um, because I can't capture it quick enough but um, it's quite an amazing, um, amazing park system here um, I could definitely fall in love with it and a lot of people I've met and have talked to me are definitely in love with it and passionate about it um, one thing that's nice about doing these paintings, it's kind of a, a diary of, of um, each day here, um, visually. Um, and I actually, um, each one has a date on it that I painted it. And so in a year to come, I can look back and remember every place I've been, which would be really nice.